Hey YouTube, this is my uh, unboxing and look at the uh, Weem Pro streamer device. Um, there seems to be a lot more information on YouTube about uh, the Weem Mini. It seems to be a pretty popular product uh, in the lower price bracket here in Canada. It's about $130 for the Weem Mini. And then you've got the uh, Weem Pro, uh, which is $200 and then adds you know some more features to it. So with this, you get the ability to do Google casting. Uh, it's got ethernet built into it. More ins and outputs, I guess. Yeah, you've got, uh, we'll just have to take a look here, but uh, you've got full RCA outputs and then you've got uh, coax in and out and digital in and out optical. So just a bit of a bump up, but otherwise uh, the product is supposed to work pretty similar to the Wii Mini. So anyway, let's just take a look at what this, what you actually get here when you order this. This just came in today, full disclosure, I did have this out of the box already, but I kind of packed things back in here. It's just so, this would have plastic around it. So anyway, open this cover up here. That's a slow process, okay. Some documentation inside all right shows you the different ways that you can connect the weem pro out to your dac or out to your stereo whatever you're using uh, by default it uses line out but then you can choose in the software which of the uh, outputs you like and a little quick user guide here pretty nice overall nice packaging Okay, so first thing is the device itself. I've been dying to see what this is like, to see if it feels or looks cheapy. Is it light? What is it? So, all right, so here it is. So it is it is all plastic. It's kind of got this, if you can see, it's kind of got this satin finish to it. It is, it is a nice look. I mean, it, it's pretty well done, but you know, it is just plastic but um it, it it looks presentable uh it it's got a little weight to it but it's still i mean you can tell it's mostly hollow so here's uh take a look at the back here here's your power like i was saying your uh oh see i was wrong there so you get your uh optical in optical out line in uh, analog line out analog uh digital coax out and then there's a, a trigger port and uh, Ethernet here. And oh, and there's a microphone for voice commands like with Alexa. Just taking a look at the bottom here. Um, kind of got this rubber pad here, no slip. Let's try this on the table here. Yeah, yeah, it's nice and grippy. It should be nice on top of my, uh, I'm gonna put it on top of the CD player, I think. So yeah, you'll see it's kind of got this, uh, the back is black like this, and then the rest of it's kind of got this kind of really dark gray kind of a finish to it. Yeah, so what else do we get in the package here? Got our USB charging block. Okay. Give you some RCA cables. Actually, these are kind of nice looking cables with gold plated ends on them, kind of thicker. So that's not bad. What else? Oh yeah, give us an optical cable. You know, just kind of like a basic optical cable, but that will be more than sufficient for most people. And here is our USB-C power cord. Okay, and that goes into here. All right, so let's get this guy rigged up and see what happens here. So, I'll move this speaker out of the way. Okay, so I did have, yeah. yeah. So I got my ethernet cable here. I'm gonna go cabled because I can. And uh, we'll hook this guy up. And uh, I've got a nicer, uh, acoustic research uh, optical cable not necessary but that's what I'm going to use because I got it click 
Okay. And we just need to get the power hooked up. So, mm -hmm. uh, this side. All right, and then go around back and hook up the power. There. All right, so there it is. Sits up pretty nice beside the deck. Oh, now what happened? There we go. All right, so what I'm doing basically in my setup is I'm gonna come out of the streamer. I'm going optical out of here into my DAC. DAC set to optical here. And, uh, and then this is gonna feed my integrated amplifier here and that's what i'm hoping to do now the big thing for me is not so much streaming services at all i've actually just got a huge library of flac files on my server here at home and i want to be able to send them straight to here and uh be able to have gapless playback and high resolution audio um, something that i kind of struggled with before using the chromecast audio I would run into here with optical, but I was having problems uh, with anything higher than CD quality chopping out, even using an ethernet adapter. So I don't know what that was about. You should have had plenty of bandwidth, but uh, we'll see how this performs any better. All right, let's get to the software side of things. So in my particular case, I've already set this guy up. Um, so basically, Okay, what does it say here? Let's start to configure your rear device further. Let's get started. So, yeah, the first first time, this is the same as the first time I hooked it up. It asked, what do you want to use? And it had line out by default. And I said, SPDIF, next. And then, yeah, what do I want to call it? And actually, this guy is... Do, 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 do. Well, actually, I'm going to do a custom name. Basement Hi-Fi. Oop. Okay, done. And next. Calibration. The connected speaker or receiver may have different audio latency. Ah, uh, well, yeah, this is more related to synchronizing with other Weem devices in the house to have like a whole home solution if you wanted to have like a grouping and the amount of delay from one device to the other. Now, this is something that I'm not using. I'm literally using this device down here for my hi fi setup. Um, so I'm going to skip this, but this is, there's obviously calibration steps you can do. Um, now what? Bit perfect audio playback. So 24 bit 192, uh, Weem Pro plays, uh, 24 bit 192 kilohertz high res file and offers exactly the same digital output via optical SPDIF. Uh, without making any changes to it. By default, the maximal optical output is set to 48 kilohertz 16 to be compatible with legacy devices. If you have more powerful downstream device, please change the optical output of the Weem Pro to the higher resolution. Tap the button below to make the change. So, yeah, I will set it. Uh, since my device is capable of 192 and 24, we are... Uh, here, let's... I'm going to turn on my amplifier. We should be able to hear this. Just waiting for it to start up. There we go.
There we go. All right, awesome. So yeah, enable Chromecast audio, yes. Um, I'm not gonna be using it with Alexa. Uh, add to Apple Home, not doing that either, done. Okay, so here's the device, basement hi-fi. It's set up. Um, and what I'm interested in is, <clears throat> so here are all the, these are the streaming services that you can connect to. Um, one thing that I, I guess I should have looked at further when buying this was uh, YouTube Music's not included on here. It's I don't see the option here anywhere. Um, I'm not really too concerned because I don't, play youtube music through here anyway because it's it just it's not very good quality like that's why i have my flack library um so let's access that so home music server here it is right here my imac music music yeah i don't know by album there we go nice and now I don't want to get anything blocked, but we'll just turn the sound down here and uh, let's try to play something. Uh, actually, I'm just trying to think of an example of high resolution audio, but I think this is CD quality, this guy. Okay, so I could hear my DAC switch over, it's playing, and it says right there uh, what the bitrate is. 16 bits, 44.1 kilohertz, beautiful. And yes, I'm happy to report when trying this before, um, it did nicely do gapless playback for an album. It was exactly how it should be. Um, however, using like Plex, for example, or Plexamp, or really any streaming thing that would uh, cast to Chromecast, uh, still no gapless playback with that. I was holding out hope that that being able to cast to it with Google Cast, um, it would still do gapless, but it does not. So it's just something the Chromecast won't do. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I know I'm getting this bit perfect output. Um, I'm going to have to download some higher resolution files now, uh, something I kind of avoided before because of it skipping out. And uh, yeah, but uh, I, I really... I have to say I prefer Plexamp. I mean, just right off the bat. I mean, you know, uh, if you've ever tried Plexamp, it's laid out extremely well. It's um, very intuitive. Uh, this seems nice and all, but it's not going to have the same recommendations and radio and all those kind of features. But I know what I'm sitting, sitting down to listen to. I pick an album, I play it. It's going to play perfectly, hopefully. And uh, yeah, but this is just kind of like a bit of... Uh, of the initial setup and kind of what it's all about as far as playing uh, music locally. Um, yeah, but if you have a streaming service, which, yeah, I guess I don't have any of these. I used to have Tidal until I started uh, gathering my own music, but uh, yeah, Spotify's in there. Actually, I do have a SoundCloud account, so um, I'll have to check how that goes. But uh, it, it, it's pretty slick so far. Uh, right when I got this device, it had a large update already with a bunch of features. Um, apparently, that's one thing about the Weem is they're very on top of it, uh, getting a lot of customer feedback and adding new features and bug fixes all the time. So, yeah, we'll just uh, have to see and I'll follow up after I experience this for a while. Thanks for watching.